What's up guys, welcome to the video. So today we are filming another Wicked Cheat Day with the homie Cabrera. And man, last cheat day was hilarious. <laughs> Dude, we laughed all day long at the dumbest stuff. But man, yeah. um, hopefully we can share another full day of just <laughs> stupidity, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, the time is currently 8.35 a.m. We just left Five O Donuts and we do have some amazing Delicious donuts. There are four donuts here that I've never even had before, so very excited to try it. You ready? Ready. And first of all, the legendary Krona. Cheers, bro. That sweet vanilla glaze on the outside goes so well with this. Mm. Soft, flaky, tasty, amazing Krona. All right, so the next donut, we do have a peppermint gingerbread. Now, I love gingerbread cookies, and I love whipped cream, so we got some whipped cream under there, and I believe these are like peppermint, almost like, I guess, candy canes? And then we have this little gingerbread guy on top. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen Shrek, when when the little guy, <laughs> when, the, when he's like, uh, I think he's got like cut his leg off or something, yeah. and he wants to like, <laughs> get some information from him or something and he's like eat me now tell me where are the others eat me he's like do you know the muffin man mm. the muffin man the muffin man the muffin man the muffin man <laughs> he's like the one that lives on jerry rain all right sorry so all right here we go you know how i'm gonna attack this yes yeah, eat his head off first <laughs> he's trying to eat his head off <laughs> Wow, this is good. Mm -hmm. That little gingerbread guy is amazing. Yeah, and these these candy canes are not bad. That's nice. This is damn tasty, man. Solid, bro. Can I get this? <laughs> Just good. Team little bites. All right, that uh, gingerbread cookie donut was pretty good. This next one. Uh, that one looks aesthetic, really. I think this one is called the gingerbread donut. So we do have like molasses, gingerbread on top, cream cheese frosting, cranberries, and man, I love molasses cookies. So. I think I'm really gonna enjoy this one. Yeah. What do you got? It's gingerbread. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, bro, it's. <laughs> you can't breathe. <laughs> He's like, this ended already. He's like, bro, why'd you do that? Yeah. I should just eat him in one bite and put him out of his misery. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make him suffer anymore, bro. I gotta, I'm sorry, bro. I, I really am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just bite his head off. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's what you get for being a cake donut. <laughs> yeah. Take that. Ooh, man, so the combination of these molasses cake cookie bread pieces along with the cream cheese frosting. Ooh, ooh. Looks good. Mm hmm I love cream. Wow, uh, what cream? What cream? Or even just like cake frosting. Mm hmm I love it. Mm. Alright, last bite is donut. Mm. How crazy is it going to be that this winter it's not going to snow? Oh. <laughs> We're not used to that. Yeah. We're from Massachusetts. I'm not mad about that either. Mm -mm. So this next donut. Is this next donut? This next donut. 
Um, I was highly requested to try this donut and everybody was tagging me saying, please get this donut in the next cheat day. So what this donut is, it's called the lump of coal. So donut covered in chocolate and then on the inside, I believe it's like a brownie inside or something. Here we go, the lump of coal. Oh wow. That looks crazy. That is so chocolatey. Damn, that's really good. Yeah. I'm not a real big fan of like lots and lots of chocolate, but this filling right here is super amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really liking this one right here. Mm. The inside tastes just like like fresh brownie mix. Mm. You know when you're a kid and your mother's making like the brownies, she yeah. lets you lick the bowl? That's exactly what that tastes like. Nice. Yep. One more. I wanted to save my last one. To eat was you, kid. Because you're a good kid. Snake diet 101. <laughs> you told me you were dieting. Yeah. Fasting during the holidays. <laughs> All right, so the last and final donut. Now you guys know exactly how I feel about the Cookie Monster, and this one right here is the Holiday Sugar Cookie Monster. So we do have sugar cookies on top, cookie butter. I'm not sure what this frosting is, but I'm sure it's magical like the blue frosting. <laughs> magical. Ooh, tastes like vanilla cake frosting. Yeah. I love that. Nice. What do you got, bro? So it's like the pop tart donut. I don't know the name of this one though. What is it? I think it's brown sugar pop tart. Brown sugar pop tart. Let's go. All right, bro. Cheers. Cheers. All right, so we're gonna get a nice bite right here with all those sugar cookies. I hope this rain stops. Yeah. All right, the last and final bite. Mm. And that is how we start the cheat day. Remember the first cheat day? <laughs> I was like... <laughs> yeah, Ready the first me? cheat day that Cabrera ever did with me. How many, did you get six donuts? <laughs> yeah, you got six donuts and was like, you know, I had already been doing cheat days back to back. I think it was like maybe like I was six in already. So um, I was just used to all that sugar in the morning and he hit it and it just like, Dude. he was done for, done for. It hit me so hard. I was, it hit me, <laughs> I, I am just being like this. Bro, give me a second. I'll play a clip right now. <laughs> How you feeling? I'm having an outer body experience. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was hilarious, bro. I was dying. Dying. And he was talking and like, I was like going in and out. I couldn't even understand what he was saying. Yeah. Okay, my friends, so 11.52 a.m. Now, I always say, like, I always mess up saying a.m. and p.m. I know when it is a.m. and I know when it is p.m. But sometimes I just say, like, I'd be like, oh, it's 11.52 p.m. I would just mistakenly do that again. I'm sorry. But we ended up going for a walk, cruised through the farmer's market. The rain kind of chilled out a little bit. And we do have a new video uploaded. So it is... Bringing back the bear episode number three. So in this video, I do go to the DEXA scan, got my body fat tested. I take you guys through a lower body workout, hitting those squats, hitting some glutes, as well as basically just explaining how my bulk has been going and sharing that information and data with you guys. So if you wanna check it out, I will link it up over here. But we are heading out to a place called Bricks Barbecue. Now I haven't had barbecue in quite some time now, so pretty excited. We're gonna head out and let's Go. Damn. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, so the next stop, Bricks Smoked Meats. Alright, so we have a pretty large menu here. So we got some appetizers, which are humble beginnings, smoked meats, buns, tacos, greens, sides, vegetarian. A whole lot of goodness here, but I do think I'm gonna go with the beef brisket. It's been a while since I've had brisket. And I think I'm gonna go with some mac and cheese as well as some baked beans. Those are some of my favorite barbecue items, so let's check it out. Very nice. Oh. There you go, y'all. Enjoy. Thanks a lot, man. All right, guys, so we did go with the brisket as well as some mac and cheese and some baked beans. Really excited to eat this. Looks amazing. Oh, and we do have a little mini cornbread right here, which I love cornbread. What'd you get, bro? I got some uh, baked beans as well. We got some turkey, some smoked turkey, the baked beans, and uh, some community steak fries. Looks like a fire. Look at that juiciness. Damn. Nice and tender, delicious flavor. That's money, man, I love brisket. All right, we're gonna go dig into this mac and cheese. These are probably some of the best fries I've ever had. Mm, nice and salty. Yeah. Mm, fire. Oh, so the mac and cheese has a nice little jalapeno kick to it. And it's not like super cheesy. You know, you get some mac and cheese and it's extremely cheesy. It's like just the right amount. I think I gotta just take this all down right now. This meat is so, 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 so moist. That's right. Great. Bomb, right? So I thought, so I thought. All right, let's give these baked beans a try. Yeah, I'm literally just going to I think these are just like some onion straws on top. I think it had like a little hint of cheese on top as well. It's like a sweet barbecue baked bean. Oh, there's nothing tasting here, y'all. Perfect. I like it. Great, yeah. yeah. Really good. Yeah. Fries are crazy. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. I mean, you get, I love fries, but steak fries. Great. Yeah. yeah. It's crunchy outside of the soft yeah. inside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they're amazing. Yeah, everything's perfect balance. It's good. No Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, man. No problem. Yeah, food here is amazing. Oh, and my fault, guys. Forgot to show you guys the time, but it is 1.02 p.m. I know you guys like to know what time each meal is and all that, so. I'm gonna try dipping the fry in the beans. Mac and cheese, done. Dude, dip the fries in the beans. Flames, as Nate would say. Dude, that's good. Mm -hmm. Let's try out this spicy sauce. Yeah, it's been a while since we had, I had barbecue. I don't know about you. Last time I had it, I was with you. I, I, had, a bri I had brisket. It was one of the cheat days. One of the first ones I did with you. I don't remember the name of the place. Dickies. Dickies, yeah. I don't know what this one is, but... This has bricks on it. That bricks one is almost like sweet. It's almost like a sweet and sour type flavor. I think the brisket meat alone is just perfect. You don't need any sauce. Now we're gonna do some beans. Beans and beef. Alright, and the last piece 
of brisket. Okay, and lastly, we have this little itty bitty cornbread. I think I'm gonna buy myself a Ferrari for Christmas. For all my hard work, I'm gonna treat myself. Actually, you know what? Don't even worry about treating yourself. I got you. I'm gonna go for the down payment on one right now. <laughs> what do you want, kid? Ferrari, Benz, I mean, I got whatever you need. This right here has got zero miles on it. <laughs> you hit the car with the camera and scratch it. <laughs> We're just like. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we parked in this parking garage and I'm gonna go to the top on the roof and get in a daily tray. What do you mean? What do you want? We are ridiculous. Are you gonna skate down? No, I'm gonna just do a daily trip here. Oh, 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 base head, base nectar, here we come. <laughs> That's not base nectar dancing. Okay, well, base doesn't. Like... today that's what's up okay my friends 507 p.m. and we are going to get our next meal so we're gonna go to PDQ now I have been there twice before on this channel but Cabrera has never been no I never have I think I saw you eating like a spicy chicken sandwich or something like that it was the pimento crunch I yeah, believe. yeah I'm down yeah it's it's super good yeah it's super good it's quick it's like fast food but better like I don't know it's fast food but it's like more quality so I have had the growth wine before as well as the pimento crunch. Both those sandwiches were really good. Pimento crunch is my favorite so far, but they also do have bowls here. You know what, maybe a Thai peanut bowl? I don't know. Or maybe I'll go with the pimento crunch again. Or maybe the Cali Club. I don't know, you guys will see very soon. All right guys, so it is 5.33 p.m. and we are at PDQ. So I did go with the Cali burger, I believe it was. So it does have avocado, bacon, ranch, and chicken. Looking pretty delicious. And then we do have a side of fries. Bear, you got the pimento crunch, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a, the burger. I had that the very first time I came here. And uh, yeah, it's really, really good. So let's try out this chicken, bacon, ranch, avocado, burger. Oh wait, did you want to cut it in half? Yeah. Actually, what we're going to do, I'm going to cut mine in half and give it to Cabrera and he's going to give me half of his pimento crunch. So we get the best of both worlds, hold on. All right, so we did cut these in half. So let's go with the pimento crunch first. The quality of the chicken here. Yeah. It's not dry, it's like juicy, very flavorful. Really good. Wow. Yeah. That pimento crunch is lava. Dude. I told you bro. <laughs> I haven't even tried all the sandwiches yet, but that's my favorite. Dude. I already know it's my favorite. Even down to the bun. 
The bun has like a sweet, like, taste of the bread. Yeah, so here is, I can believe it's called the Cali. So we have grilled chicken, tomato, lettuce, bacon, avocado, and ranch. Yeah, this bread is just so tasty and delicious. I just love bread. It's like fast food, but it's very quality. And now we have this basket of fries remaining. And these fries are super good. Yeah, I'm anxious to see what they taste like. They're not like super greasy like, say, McDonald's or something. They have a really good potato-y flavor rather than like a greasy flavor. What are you trying to say about McDonald's? The fries are greasy. <laughs> You're right. They're good, right? Yeah. I'm gonna pet them. Are you so generous? Hard to grow. Man, I'll tell you guys, PDQ never fails. Every time I've been here, it's my third time here, always quality stuff, really tasty, and I'll definitely be back. All right, guys, and we are back. It is 7.52 p.m., and we have our final meal in front of us, look at the size of this <laughs> gingerbread cookie that my aunt made me. So she made me this cookie as well as this white trash. Now if you guys saw a few videos ago, I did have the white trash donut from 5-0. So I had like the white trash candy on top of it. That's exactly what this stuff is. So it's like pretzels, M&M's, Chex Mix, raisins, white chocolate, all mixed together so it's white trash. And then we do have a cold brew, dairy free. I've never had this flavor before, so I'm looking forward to trying it. Then we also have a Three Musketeers bar. This is one of my favorite candy bars. I just love like the whipped uh, creaminess, chocolate to it, really tasty. And then these two bars right here, I did go by 5-0 today, and Christine was back from Thailand, and she was nice enough to bring me back some candy from Thailand. So this is a green tea Kit Kat which I'm very excited to try, as well as a Snickers Oats. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's dive right in. Actually, we will go with, I don't know what to do first. I think I'm gonna go with this gingerbread because he's just standing there, all sitting there. All right, I'm gonna bite his head off. All right, here we go. Very crunchy. Make it a mess. Man, I love gingerbread cookies. Should I try to food challenge this thing? I bet Nate Pigs could eat this thing in like 30 seconds. No, nah, maybe like a minute. All right. I'm gonna try to food challenge this thing <laughs> just for fun. All right, here we go. I 
most part. I know I'm not a competitive eater, but. Oh. Well, so since the cookie's actually crunchy, when I put a lot of it in my mouth, it just kind of, my saliva moistened it up and then it made it like a chewy cookie again. <laughs> Okay, okay, here we go. Let's try out this Snickers Oats Bar. I believe this is 180 calories. I did put it in my fitness pal. So it is two little nuggets. Let's uh, bite into it, see what it's like inside. It looks like the typical Snickers. Oh, I am getting a little bit of oat though. I like that. I love oatmeal and oats. Such an easy thing to make, easy thing to eat, and you can make so many different combinations. Yeah, this uh, oat Snickers is pretty good. All right, moving right along, we have a green tea Kit Kat. Wow, look at that. It looks like a, a plant-based Kit Kat. <laughs> Whoa. That is very, very different. Well, eat this half. I want to see a reaction. Strong. It tastes like seaweed to <laughs> me. It just tastes like it tastes like somebody um, made green tea and left the bag soaking inside the thing <laughs> for like an hour. You wanna have that is that for you? Sure. Or you like that. Yeah, that one was definitely different. But the Snickers oat bar was really tasty. Now moving on to actually, you know what? Let's open up this ice cream. So this is so delicious, dairy-free, cold brew coffee please and I absolutely love coffee I don't even know the last time I had coffee it's been over I think two months but yeah I really love coffee and coffee flavored things again I've just been taking a very long break off of caffeine and all stimulants so uh, yeah this is gonna be a nice little treat so look at that yeah Ooh. Nice hint of coffee with this. <laughs> this definitely blows the, um, the pistachio halo top out of the water. Yeah, I think uh, I wasn't just the only one because there was a few people that commented, you know, saying that, you know, uh, the halo top pistachio like has like a weird bland flavor you know it doesn't really pop and you can't really taste it you know so like I thought I was just like I didn't understand what was going on when I couldn't taste it I was like what what's going on <laughs> all right so you're gonna eat this three musketeers along with the coffee ice cream make this amazing combination what the homie Travis S would call it is a junk bowl, right? Isn't that right? <laughs> so we have a little junk ice cream bowl here. My favorite candy bar with some coffee ice cream. That is good. It kind of gets the, I don't know what it is. It's like a whipped mousse inside of the Three Musketeers. But when it gets a little cold, it kind of has like a chewier consistency, almost like 
a nougat or like a, a hard caramel. Break up the rest of this. Three Musketeers. So we are about halfway through this ice cream, but I'm going to start trying out this white trash. So look at this amazing white trash, all that goodness. Let's, uh, let's give it a whirl. Mmm, wow, damn. Honestly, it makes me come and drool. Just that saltiness from the pretzel and the Chex Mix on top of like the white chocolate. Damn, damn. I should have crumbled this up, so out. That way I could have put it in the ice cream. Yeah, this stuff is amazing. All right, let's uh, let's finish off this ice cream here. Oh, the three musketeers is gonna be really chewy now. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh. Right. Woo. Well, I think I'm pretty good. I'm satisfied. I don't see the need to keep eating, so I'm not going to keep eating. Luckily, I can just save this for later. And uh, yeah, so. I'm not sure where the calories are at today. I will put that on the screen now. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, wherever the calories fell, they fell. Like, I don't have a specific goal that I hit on these cheat days. I just eat till I'm satisfied. I eat what I want. And again, now that I'm bulking, I'm eating more during the week. So, I'm slightly... Um, I guess scaling back the cheat day a little bit, even though like I'm not specifically trying to do that. It's just kind of happening as I'm eating more during the week. I'm just more satiated. And you know, when I was dieting and I was a lot leaner, I was a lot hungrier for the cheat day. So I would just be smashing down so much food, like 10 K no problem. But now it's like, I'm a bit more satiated. So I'm just kind of chilling and cruising through the day. Like today was a very, very mellow, chill cruising cheat day I guess um, I mean all the cheat days are pretty chill like I just eat what I want and um, yeah but today was pretty mellow it was pretty cool I enjoyed it that's for sure and that's what it's all about full enjoyment so uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video